Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing some more of the classic, the Matsuri Bayashi. We're going to be doing some more Higurashi today, and yeah, I'm really, really excited for today. Today is potentially going to be like one of the most interesting days that I think we're probably going to sort of have in this, you know, fragment related arc. I'm really interested in, um, I think, the things that I'm most interested in, like, obviously today, and I'm also really interested to see, um, let me just actually go there so I can show what you mean, so show you guys what I mean, but, um, yeah, the fragments at the end, look, these sort of fragments that summarise all the chapters, I'm really interested in them as well, oh, I'm really, really excited for today, and, um, yeah, we have a lot of things to be sort of reading, but, um, yeah, today we're gonna be, I think we're probably gonna be learning about the fourth year and what the fuck happened there, so, yeah, I'm really interested. We're going to probably see a lot about Satoshi as well. I really I really kind of get the impression that, like, you know, he's really, really bad side. I, I think it's going to get the best of him. But, like, at least Satoshi's not going to be the one that's getting it. Yeah, somebody else's. <laughs> yeah, so, um, we haven't seen Tomitake's slight fever. Deja vu, disappointment? Nah, we can't read that. I'm just sort of describing... Describing? Nah, we can't read that either can't read that either right so i think we're gonna be sort of working backwards today uh what about this no so hang on a second is this yeah so i think i think this is the first thing we can read right a notice of a leave of absence this is gonna be interesting so i wonder if this is the day where satoshi actually disappears to go to oh interesting so this is the day when satoshi actually resigns um from the baseball team I always thought that was because he was having too much stress at home, but maybe it was just because he wanted to sort of take his part-time job into priority. I don't know. I see. No, you didn't need to do that. You're promising you're a promising member of the Namazawa fighters. You saved your spot. Oh. Damn, nice one. So you can come back any time, okay? Yeah, if only. Oh, I don't know about that though. I have no idea when I can come back, so I thought I should resign for at least now. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, he doesn't—he probably doesn't know how long this goal of actually getting the, you know, the really big teddy bear is actually going to take. Satoshi-kun says he wants to quit the Hinamazawa fighters. Yeah, I know very well of Satoshi-kun and Satoshi-kun's situation. So I was expecting that he may say this. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he just... The relationship between Satoko-chan and Alana is... Oh, God. Hang on a second. So before, it actually couldn't be. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. But Jesus Christ. God, that really is awful. Yeah, I mean, God, I thought it was bad enough before, but, like, this, this is just, you know, really fucking scary. The relationship between Sasako Tano and Arana has gotten worse to the point it can be considered abuse. When someone in the girl consultation centre came, of course Arana behaved herself. Yeah, why would she not? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, you do find it interesting, like, it is kind of funny, like, you know, um, her and also Depe as well, like, they're horrible, horrible people, they always work the same way, like, they always are nice in front of the people that could potentially cause them damage, and then, when they've gone, they're even worse, which, yeah, I mean, does it really surprise you? According to the neighbours, the aunt's scolding and Sotoko Chan's crying. Jesus, they can even hear it. Oh my god, that's horrible. And so the time crying can be heard nightly and sometimes it goes on past midnight. Past midnight, holy fuck. You need sleep when you're that age. That is just really concerning that she's not actually getting it. So the time's weekly physical checkup results are slowly growing worse. Oh god. And we're trying to keep her stay away, increasing her medication. Right, would that work though? But unless her relationship with her aunt improves, she's sure to go terminal. 
I'm thinking to myself, shit. So you really do wonder if that, about the whole Satoshi thing, like, when he kills the aunt, obviously. You really do wonder if that could potentially have saved her life. Who knows? Although, she isn't the type to become the ranks, even at the terminal stage. Yeah, and she's she's always around Dika as well. No, wait, hang on a second. This isn't the time where she's really, really close to us with Dika, isn't it? No, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I think it might have been. It either could have been or maybe it wasn't. I'm not entirely sure. It kind of depends on when the club was formed. Because, I mean, to be fair, we the club was actually formed and, like, she was really, really just sad she wasn't be she wasn't able to feel happy at all so maybe it could have been sometime around here who knows she's the type who holds everything in harboring her insanity inside yeah yeah definitely i mean i wouldn't really say insanity but like she does that with her emotions easily just like she pushed her parents off the cliff two years ago so i may kill her aunt well, that's interesting that Edie actually thinks that but satoshi is the one that that would actually be really interesting if Satoko actually does it and Satoshi is the one that covers up. God, it's just such a bad threat though, because how would a relationship like that improve? Thanks to the mountain boss, the incident was resolved as an accident and Oisey stepped aside. Although he is still suspicious. That's actually really interesting, I wonder what they did. Maybe they just gave false witness statements and stuff like that, I'm not sure. If something like that happens again around Sotokol John. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Be sure to investigate her mercilessly. I can't do anything more about Sato Kotan's environment changing for worse. So I'm not surprised to hear that Sato School wants to quit the baseball team so we can be with his sister more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, to be fair, you would have thought that, but no, it's to do the part time job. Yep. Actually, I'm starting a part-time job. That's why I can't come to practice. It's a part-time job? <laughs> I really love that whenever, like, first thing he assumes is that there's something that, that, something that he wants. I mean, fair enough, but like, still, <laughs> that's just really funny. That, uh, typical for me as well. So I started a part-time job as well. Yes, it's about Sat Satoko's Sato birthday. God, it's, it's so sweet that he's actually Sato doing that. It's a little bit Satoko has been looking at and I want to get it for her. That's so nice of him. I mean, I really, I really just love how caring he is, you know? It really, it really just makes me happy to see. It must be really hard to be caring in a situation like the one he's in. But he, he does it anyway. That's right, I remember the birthday on her insurance card. Damn, you can actually remember things like that? Don't really think. I mean, I suppose things like that probably would have been significant, but I don't know. I think it's June 24th. Oh, interesting. Yeah, right after the Matanagasi festival. So this guy. I see, you're such a good brother. For real, oh my god, he is. I'm so sorry for Yeah. I mean, when we actually learn about it, I mean, she does receive the teddy bear, but the only thing is she never sees Satoshi after that, so. Yeah, you don't really know what to think. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those Satoshi are so stressed out. Yeah, to him, seeing Satoko being harassed is the same thing as being harassed himself. If anything, it's probably even worse. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, that's... His stress can be released through moderate exercise, such as with sports and also with plenty of rest. Yeah, he would have got plenty of rest, but the only thing is, if they're arguing between midnight, he's going to be the one having to sort of step up a circle. Then, yeah, they're not really going to get much sleep, but it's really good that he can do the exercise. I wonder what Satoko's actually doing at the moment. She's probably over at the club. I'm not entirely sure, though. If Sato's, if Sato's channel is being yelled at nightly, then it's easy to figure out that Sato's goon isn't getting enough sleep either. Whoa, I predicted. I predicted it. I just can't imagine that. I really, really can't imagine growing up with things like this. I don't know what kind of job he's starting, but I don't think he'll be able to vent his stress on it. And that's actually fair enough. And if anything, you'd probably get more stress just because of how boring it would be. Or maybe he wouldn't because it's a good way to get away from things. In fact, I don't like the idea of Sato's Kun taking a part-time job because he's already so worn out in every way. Yeah, that's actually fair enough. But the only thing is, I mean... I don't know. At least Sato will be happy as a result. Oh, wow. God, he really is... He really is, um, I don't know, just dedicated, really. I asked him if he wanted to help me to help him pay for the present, but of course he declined the offer. It's a present from him, so he wants to earn the money himself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That really just shows it. That just shows just how much he cares, really. He's taking this part-time job only to buy money to buy Sato Chan's present, so it'll be a temporary thing. Yeah, fair enough. It's for a short period of time. Maybe it won't be that bad. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, I want to stop him from working because I don't want him to get even more stressed. Since he says Article Tom's birthday is near, I don't think I can stop him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the only thing is you do wonder if like maybe the pressure for actually getting this gift is gonna be something that's gonna stress him out more. As long as the job. Who knows? Sato's Kun is determined. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that too, yeah. If I say any more, I may lose his trust. So I'll have to accept his leave of absence. So that. Can't okay. Oh, coach. Can I maybe. Borrow a bat? What? Right. Oh my god. I mean, I suppose he probably would have got that baseball bat from somewhere and he wouldn't be the type to steal it. But like, I'm just really surprised that he'd literally ask. I mean, to be fair, there could be a literal million and one reasons, apart from murder, that um, he could be using this for. So, yeah. <laughs> Later, I found out he carried around that bat to protect himself and realised that even then he was already showing some dangerous symptoms. Oh, that's really interesting because yeah, if you remember in Onikakushi, um, yeah, he was, Keiji was doing exactly what Satoko was doing. Yeah, you do find it really interesting now that you know about Hinamazawa syndrome, like just the fact that what they were doing was exactly the same. But anyway, that's really scary. So the stress he's actually got from Hinamazawa syndrome has stress he's got from his life has actually developed into the syndrome. That's awful. He believed there would be a fourth mysterious death this year and that... Oh, oh god, that's awful. Yeah, yeah, because I, I think he probably got that from all of the villagers just saying it to him. God. Yeah, and that's just really sad, like, 
this sort of senseless talk just because of grudges has actually sort of made him genuinely believe this. He became obsessed with the idea that someone was after his life. Yeah, and that's what the footsteps sort of explain, I suppose. That is... A, what the fuck? That is a symptom of Yamazawa Syndrome's terminal stage. Shit. Oh, God. Why? But although I was involved so deeply with the syndrome, I was careless. What is this? Oh, no. So hang on a second, because of Edie not actually, like, realising this at the time. <laughs> Somebody died. About. What, what do you need about for? What, yeah, what do you need about for? <laughs> Sato's goon had his own bat. Oh, did he? So we should have asked for... Police. Police, that's exactly why. Yep, it's the police. And it's evidence related things. So we could have asked... So we should have asked if he could take it home, but instead he asked if he could borrow it. Yeah, this is actually kind of interesting. I wonder when he'd return it. That's just my question. When I think about it now, he said it that way to lighten his guilty conscience, but how could I have known then? Yeah, so this is actually after the murder's taken place. Interesting. いや、急には、そんなに来れなくなりますけど。でも、きっと、ああ、インタレスト。I was really dumb. I, I always thought that Katie was actually the one that was being targeted by like evil people. But when you realise it's all paranoia, it, that's when the story becomes sad. It really is. Because I always thought that he was genuinely threatened at first, but no, he isn't. That's great. Sure, please take it with you. But make sure you do it in open space, okay? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> if it went bother your neighbors, it's good, um, to... it's good practice to hit a hanging tire. What is a hanging tire? I wonder. I'm curious. Baseball. Oh, I don't actually get anything. <laughs> Swinging about can release stress. Yeah, I suppose so. So letting him take his back home, back home will help. Yeah, I mean it is actually fair enough that he thought that, but the only thing is that, yeah, let's just say that wasn't really what happened <laughs> with the bat. He was doing that protection sort of. He was just trying to get his strength up with the bat because if anybody should come behind him or do something that may make him believe that they could potentially be after his life then yeah he can go like whack basically but that was a huge mistake oh my god yeah I realized that only when things were already past the point of no return yep that's yep that's with most mistakes that's the only time you realize them <laughs> yeah Oh, right, okay. That's the end of that. I'm just gonna blow my nose real quick. Right, what are we gonna do now? 
Oh, that's actually really interesting seeing like, you know, Satoshi actually cancelled the job and also just seeing the mistake that EDA did. It's just really interesting to know the sort of these background knowledge related things of the events. Like, without EDA, if he had actually seen through this and actually got the fact that his life was in, he thought his life was in danger, which is telling me Namazawa Syndrome symptom, then let's just say this could have never happened. But the only thing is, the only thing is that's actually really horrible to think about. Was this happening maybe the best? I mean, obviously not the best for Satoshi. That is actually a bit of a problem. It definitely wasn't the best for Satoshi, but it was the best for Satoko, but it wasn't the best for Satoshi. Kind of like a lot of these things, really. Right, this is going to be interesting. The death of Satoko's aunt. Um, we were prepared to respond quickly this year. That was why we were able to start the investigation immediately by securing the crime scene. Right, that's actually really interesting. So if Satoshi did murder his aunt, then... Yeah, he's definitely going to have to have, like, fled the scene really quickly. And he's going to have to have left zero evidence, which must be really hard in a state like he was in with Inamazawa Syndrome. Because you're driven so mad that it's difficult to actually think rationally. At the same time, we do see, like, Sion, for example, and Meakashi. We see quite a lot of that before she completely goes over the edge. That is, Even when she is completely over the edge, she can still, like really deceive people like she did with Casey in that last phone call. Oh shit. Yep. The, wi the victim is the wife of the younger brother of the Hojo couple. That's actually interesting. So, um... I think Tepe is actually younger than Satoko's dad, Satoko's previous dad, I suppose. So she's an extremely suitable target for the fourth year's Kazuo Yasuro summer. Yeah, or in other words, she has a horrible reputation amongst the locals. Yep. After the incident, everybody said she deserved to be cursed. Wait, after which incident? must be what the fuck hang on a second who is this if this is oishi then shit if this is the air then nothing's gonna happen <laughs> maybe subtlety is gonna be like treated and you know just i don't know really just give him medication hopefully he could potentially be better but the only thing is i don't really think that's likely because he actually disappears himself i really do want to could you imagine if like, the worst case scenario happens and he gets dissected? I do not even want to think about that. Well, I am now, so that's kind of pointless to say, but like, still. That innocent looking kid. Yeah, innocent looking. I don't think that's Edia just because of that. Edia would not address somebody like that, I don't think. Especially somebody he knows so well. There's even a motive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. The deceased abused his sister relentlessly. It's just surprising that, like, the police can know this. And yet, they haven't done anything about it. But, yeah. So this would be in revenge for that. Well, he's not thinking wrong. Also, when he attended the inspection of the crime scene, he was rather frantic, yet also far too composed, as if he was totally unrelated to the incident. Right, that's interesting, yeah. But it's actually really insane that, like, detectives, they can see this and they can put it into words. My intuition from many years of police work, yeah, this is Oishi. Um, my intuition from many years of police work tells me that eight or nine times out of ten, somebody who acts like that is the perp. The perp. <laughs> yeah, sure, for perpetrator, obviously, but like, I love that. 
Yeah, but the only thing is that's actually kind of scary to think that, like, he has got that right. I have no concrete proof, but if I question him and shake him up a bit, I have a feeling he'll confess. Interesting. No, but the other thing is, isn't um, this the time where Sion actually stands up for him? Because if Sion's there, then yeah, have fun. <laughs> But the victim could be so beaten, Hark, must have had some blood on him as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's actually fair enough, if we can find the way out, then we'll have Yeah, because I remember the murder of um, Damaya, it wasn't like, it wasn't just, you know, the normal bat beating, it was fuck. like, what was it? I think it was the, the skull was literally smashed, or something like that, it was, like, basically it was one, one thing that would have really, really been done out of hate. And I mean, I suppose good for Satoshi because he was able to like get as much of his anger out as he could, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe she got like, in his head, maybe she got like the biggest piece of revenge that he could have got. I mean, I know that's totally wrong, but like still, I suppose that would be good for his point of view. But, um, yeah. Not very good for him not getting caught. Unless he's a complete fool, I'm sure he's already gotten, gotten rid of it by now. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. If we can find any in the place he said he disposed it in after he fesses up, then we can convince the prosecutor too. Oh, shit. That's actually going to be really tricky, so... Yeah, I mean, I mean, because with the police, um, even if you wash blood with soap, aren't there, like... I don't know... Isn't it like you can detect it with UV light, or am I thinking of fingerprints? I can't tell. I don't know. This is pretty insignificant as a standalone case. Yeah, yeah, oh. Confessing from Hodos Atosi would end it. Everybody except me must believe that. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable, yeah. But if I look at it as part of the series of mysterious deaths, it won't be so easy. Either the three families of the village, or the Sonazaki family alone is directly involved in this. Why would the Sonazaki family be- I mean, I mean, to be fair, like, the Sonazaki family are mounting in evidence. Loads and loads of evidence for them being the potential suspects, but no, they're not! What about the EDA clinic? What about Takano? What about Tokyo? Literally the most corrupt organization in the bloody world. <laughs> if they are the ones building the streets, they must have investigated. They must have instigated Satoshi Hojo into committing this crime. Interesting that he actually thinks that. Why would he think that? If so, what does that see as somebody who knows way too much about them? I really find it interesting that he's actually thinking this. This is so wrong! The Sonazaki family's actions must remain hidden. If he could connect to them, if he could connect them to the crime, would they let him around and run around freely? Yeah, interesting. So he's thinking that the Sonazaki family could potentially be the ones that did it, but they could somehow frame Satoshi for it. And I mean, the only scary thing about this is this is actually a fair theory. You could replace this family name with anybody's family name, by the way. It really wouldn't make a difference. Like the Dede family, I don't know. Hojo family, even, I don't know. My brother family? Nah, I'm just kidding. Ryugu family? Whoa. What the hell? Yeah, 
Michael was able to use a loving brother who cares very much for his sister, and they set him out to kill the aunt. His aunt as the 40 years curse. I do find it really interesting he's got the suspect right on the nail. Right. Right. I don't know, he's hit the suspect's head right on the top, really. On the nail of the coffin, really. Is what I'm trying to awfully say, but I'm not even managing to do that. But yeah. You could validly think this. I mean, it is fair, but he needs to not think this because if he makes wrong convictions, then oh boy, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. After that, they will eliminate the person, the one person who can connect them to the crime. Michael Sattelsi is not just a simple criminal. He was set up. What, by Hinamazawa Syndrome? I mean, uh, I said nothing. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and after that, my suspicions were confirmed. For he abruptly vanished. Yeah, and you do find that really interesting because... I suppose you could definitely think, like, I don't know. So, he thinks that the Samazaki families are actually going to get rid of the person that could potentially frame them to the crime. But the only thing is, I don't really get what the point of that would be if that theory was correct. Because, like, if the police already have suspicions, but to be fair, they don't know that they already have suspicions. But still, what is the point? Like, you have to have scenarios like that in your head. Like, why would you dispose of the person, even when the police already have suspicions? Like... Isn't that just going to make them way more suspicious? It's just really stupid. I really, really wonder what's going to happen. He disappeared in such a puzzling way. He didn't run because he was afraid that his crime had come to light. And another culprit came into the picture. He was already arrested for a different crime, and furthermore, he... What? Hang on a second, what? He was already arrested for a different crime and furthermore he died while in prison. Hang on a second, what? Oh, that's really interesting. He confessed to, to information only the culprit himself would have known. I bet you this is a mountain dog. This, there is no way this could potentially be a Somazaki family. And do keep in mind that he has done crime before. Mountain dog, being in like a mountain dog sort of military related setting really wouldn't be surprising. But the only thing is, you don't have to be a criminal to be in the military. If anything, it's probably harder to get into the mountain dogs while being a criminal. So I don't really know. It's just really odd though. I thought he died. How did he die while in prison? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe this is a lot of time after. I mean, I don't know. It just really sounds like this, everything here, was something that you'd just be thinking after it happened. But if he's died in prison, it's probably a long time after it's actually happened. He confessed to information only the culprit himself would have known. Right, so it's probably some sort of interrogation. Which must have been very hard because he was at the terminal stage of Hinamazawa Syndrome. Or he maybe made it up. If he was a mountain dog, then he'd be very good at that type of things, type of thing. Um, therefore, he must be the culprit. But as he's already dead, the investigation was closed. This is really odd. Then Hodo Satoshi disappeared a few days after the festival. Yeah. It's obvious somebody doesn't want Hodo Satoshi to be connected with this incident. Yeah, and I really wonder who that could potentially be. I mean, who could it be apart from ED? Yeah, I said nothing. So this is really odd, like, a person that was actually known for dying in prison has just confessed to this. Because I'm assuming that's, you know, but he's, as he's already dead. The investigation was closed. Hmm. My boss put pressure on me to close the investigation in far, in the far order of his disappearance as a separate incident. Fair enough, he even handed the case over to a different section. Damn. Yeah, they're not gonna find it. Tokyo, they are the most secret organization ever, dude.
The way this case is closing so rapidly greatly resembles the same trick used two years ago with the Hordor Goblins incident. That's actually really interesting. Hmm. There's no doubt it's the work of somebody who can put pressure from the police. Yep, definitely. That's right. As it happens, as long as I keep on is the only one who can actually exact influence on the police department here in the Hinamazawa area. Oh, wow. They may think their trails are covered, but this points towards them more clearly than anything. Oh, right. Yeah. It's not the Sonazaki family, man. They have nothing to do with it. According to my informant, Sonosaki Ojo, mentioned the body is scares at the family meeting and hinted that she was the one behind it all? What? Hang on a second, what? I mean... Huh? Hinting isn't strong enough evidence, but there's no mistake that Sonosaki Ojo is the one putting the strings. Yeah, he would be very interested to think of that but no that's not true but the only thing is it is actually kind of odd that yeah hinted that she was the one behind it all that's kind of weird i mean she isn't we know that but i just really wonder what this because this is obviously a misinterpretation i mean this couldn't be right could it i know they're the ones who did who did in the old man oh that's actually really interesting it wasn't if anything, it was nothing. If anything, it was the enemies of the Sonazaki family that did it. The construction workers. God, I remember that story. That was quite something, let's just say that. The principal revender is still on the loose, but... Oh, yeah. You know what's happening? The principal offender is, d d d d I hate to say it, dead. They literally are dead. <laughs> if anything, they've been dissected. So, a painful death. And they are being sheltered by the EDA Institute. right arm. Oh, you are not going to find that missing right arm. <laughs> oh, God. Well, if he ever finds Tokyo-related things, then maybe he could. Who knows? I'll return the arm to his grave. Uh, make the principal offender and the masterminds bow down before it. Wow. God. I really, I really do find it. I mean, even though always he has got everyone, you really, really do need to admire, like, just what he's doing for his friend and what he's trying to do to sort of i don't know protect his legacy really that's so nice of him but yeah i suppose it's just the duty of a person that really admired him that was really interesting the story about the rations in the war Hotel she disappeared. It's possible the principal offender has already been eliminated. Yep, that is actually true. I bet he's already been killed and buried somebody nobody can find. 
Yeah, I mean, we don't actually know that. I mean, we definitely know that he's been dissected and he probably died after like six or seven months. I think I remember reading. I don't know. He was just used for experiments for the last part of his life, really. But um, yeah, I'm assuming he probably was buried somewhere nobody could find. Or maybe, maybe it's still in the Lee Institute. Who knows? If that's the case, then that's fine. Yeah, I mean, you can't possibly find that, can you? The old bag who wanted somebody to kill the old man slam her forehead on the ground before his great damn this i swear fucking hell <laughs> god there was no person that ordered people to kill them though i mean if anything the if anything the old man that was actually killed he he sort of had it going for himself really because you know he was and he was just really... The Hinamazawa syndrome really took him over. Made him so mad. I think it was because of all the stress it actually activated. And then, yeah. That's what sort of caused this murder to actually happen. Because he was threatening the lives of others, I suppose. Curse, people were already saying something will happen again next year. Oh, you wonder. <laughs> it's either going to be Takano or Tomitake, or it's going to be Keiichi, or I don't know. Or maybe, worst case scenario, it's going to be Rika, um, Satoko, Keiichi, and Mion, and Oryo, and Kimiyoshi. I wonder which chapter I'm talking about. Or maybe it's going to be everybody. <laughs> Who knows? Because that's what happened in Mina Goroshi. Everybody died. Even with all my um, preparations, I couldn't prevent the incident from happening this time. Yeah, interesting. It's too late if something happens. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I must keep my eyes on the core of the village before something takes place. And that's interesting. So that's why I always see you can actually see him a lot more in the sort of fourth and fifth year, you know? A reason, there's a reason why I have to get to the bottom of this by next year. Oh, because I'm retiring. Yeah, right. That's interesting. My mother has been wanting me back to go back to my hometown in Hokkaido. And for a long time, she's been asking me to move there when I retire. Right. Because if he's at the age of retirement and he still has a mother, that is really quite something. Especially because it's like the 1980s. I mean... I mean, to be fair, maybe it could have been like, well, she's maybe in his 50s and she's either 70 or 80, but like, still, that is really good. For that time, especially. That's the least I can do for her, so I agree to move to Hokkaido when I retire. Oh, right, right. Oh, God, so next year is the last chance to revenge the old man's death. I, I really do wonder if Oishi is the one who sort of survives the gas disaster. Um, because if he does, then I suppose... No, he actually does. We see that in, um... What's it? Uh, Himasabushi. He probably does. No, not Himasabushi, sorry. Well, we do actually see in Himasabushi, coincidentally, but to me, Horoboshi as well. Yeah, he does actually survive the gas disaster, so oh, that's really good that he does, I suppose. But yeah, <laughs> I think his investigation would have been a lot more interesting if, when he finds stuff like that out.
It happens four years in a row, so more than likely there will be a fifth curse too. Yep. Or maybe there won't, who knows? And as a result of the series of mysterious deaths, the village has been tightly knit together since the dam protests. Yeah. Interesting. They were told that betrayers would be punished in the name of the curse. To the masterminds, that's enough reason to continue with the series of mysterious deaths. Yeah, and definitely, even though um, he's got the idea of the masterminds wrong, that is true though. Especially Doc on it as well. The more years, the worse she gets. And the more fucking murderous she gets as well. To the rumors, this year's victim, the arm, was cursed because he didn't participate in the Modern Odyssey Festival. Oh, that's actually interesting, yeah. I really do wonder if that could potentially be like something subtly sort of spread around by the Sonazaki families. That, that's what Oishi could potentially think because, um, just because of, you know, the whole money making aspect. So there are villagers who believe that if they don't participate in next year's Watanagasi, they'll be cursed. It'll be- <laughs> yeah, definitely, it'll be a huge festival next year for sure. Yeah. Something will happen. Yeah. Seriously, mysterious deaths in the Yamazawa. Also known as the Curse of Oyasu or something. I will avenge the old man. I definitely, definitely will. You really, really hope he does, but the only thing is, I, I just find it really sad that he never really gets anywhere with it, but it's just such a puzzling case. I mean, the only thing is, I really do wonder if, um, if Oishi actually fully, um, thinks the Sonazaki family are part of it. I really wonder if he could actually reach a conclusion that could, like, realistically put them in the spotlight and would actually make sense all around. Also, I think that's the end of it, yeah. Right, that was really interesting. Dude, I really... I really find that interesting. I'm just really surprised that, like, Oishi, he knows the culprit, and he knows that they have been, they've potentially been set up. Oh, look at that. That's our first row of completed stories. Nice one. And this is actually coincidentally going to be our second. Uh, we're not going to finish the third one today. No, we're going to, I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to read this. So we're going to complete the fifth one as well. And yeah, we're probably going to complete, like, the sixth one, you know, in a few days. Oh, that's gonna be really cool. But yeah, that was just really interesting to read. Oh man. Oh, I really do feel so a bad for Oishi though. Like he never finds it, even though he's sort of But the only thing is that's it must be so hard being entertained though. I mean you just have to completely rely on your own instinct. And like, especially with Oishi here, like his instinct was completely wrong. So, yeah. Must have been really difficult for like, everything to actually be solved. Right, the fourth sacrifice. This is going to be interesting. Oh, and we see the idiot clinic. Right. We see Takono. This is going to be interesting because all the sacrifice things, they sort of say what's behind the scenes. So we're going to learn about the drug addict, I think. Oh, that's going to be interesting. The village was in an uproar. Because of the fourth mysterious death in a row, which everybody believed would happen, actually did. Whoa, no way. What I thought was going to happen, happened? That's just unreal, man. That's like saying, I don't know. That's like saying I'll 
kick myself. That's like saying I'll punch myself in the face and I'll feel pain. <gasps> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just like one of those things where you expect it's going to happen, worst case scenario, but you hope it's not going to happen, you know. Sultical Town's aunt was killed. Yeah. All the villagers feel rather satisfied about... Yeah. This isn't insane because it finally fell on her for being a local troublemaker. I suppose that could be a valid thought. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, so, oh my god, a person we hate. Now they're dead. <laughs> yeah. But I know the truth. When I saw the beaten up body of the crime scene, I knew Subtle Skin was responsible for it. God, he can actually knew. He can actually knew. He can actually knew. What good grammar. I mean, he can actually know just by seeing. But, I mean, to be fair, it really... Just because of how hatefully the body was beaten up and how much it was beaten up as well. Yeah, it doesn't really surprise you that he could sort of tell that. That feeling when EDA is literally more knowledgeable than the detective. He, her abuse to Subtle Charm was getting worse and worse. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Subtle Skin wanted to protect her. Yeah. So he brought home a baseball bat. All the signs were there. So I didn't even need to hear it from Subtle Skin. Oh, hang on a second. So Subtle Skin actually talked about his crime to EDA. Interesting. It's just so sad how things like these really just lead into other things like these oh god but yeah i suppose if you could possibly if you could positively think anything about like what subtle c has done at least subtle gonna have an easier life now because Depe moves i mean to be fair though we don't actually know about Depe moving until like next year i really do wonder because um we've heard that like from the fourth year Depe really wasn't that bad all he just did was he was occasionally there, you know, he just watched TV, he didn't give a shit about the fact that anybody else was in the house. And he obviously art view with the art. But like I really wonder if there was something that happened in like Okinomiya to potentially make him worse and worse to Sotoko as a result. I wonder. Yeah, I couldn't avoid questioning myself. I felt bad for the Hojo siblings who had no one on their side. So I try to be their ally. Yeah. In the end, I failed to be any help to them. No, I... Oh shit, that must, that must be hard for him because yeah. The phone rang. It was Satoshi. He, he's never called me before. What happened? Does he want me to help him? If so, I will. I truly feel that way. Oh, Hello. Coach. Oh, that really gets sad. But, I mean, I mean, to be fair, he's literally saved Sartacle's life, let's be real. But, like, the thing is, oh, but it's just really sad, like, with Sartacle, so you seeing this mistake that he's made and the effects of this mistake. But the only thing is this, this, and then you need to ask, like, is this murder really, really bad for them, I suppose, but that's really being, that's being extremely one-sided. You need to see Tamaya's side as well, like, and Depe's side and everybody that she knows, like, it's really good, but it's really bad at the same time. There's, there's probably more bad implications, there's definitely more bad implications than good ones. The only thing is, I wonder how Edia would actually help him. Hello, coach. Sorry to bother you while you're at work. Oh, it's important. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm gonna do it for you. Yeah, oh my god. I, feel... I really like that Edia sort of speaking as softly as possible, you know? Really, really good. Um, I can't think of anyone else who. 
There's a car. That's a really random thing to ask. A car? Sure, I have one. Was that just a conversation? Do you have a car? Now let's talk about cars. Oh. oh, right, I'm in front of a toy store in Okinomiya. Not the one owned by Mion's uncle, but that other one by the dentist's office. Hang on a second, there's a different one? I never actually realised that. I, I was of the one he actually bought the teddy bear when was the one owned by Mion's uncle. Interesting. Sure, I found a teddy bear for Sato's birthday, but... Mm. Oh, oh, that's, that's annoying. It's too big to put on my basket. My, my basket. I really, really didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be like, you know, I've just killed somebody, what the fuck do I do? And stuff like that, but no. It really isn't. God, I, I do... Oh, even though he has murdered somebody, like, at the same time, you can't help but, like, feel happy for him, but... At the same time, though, like... He has done... I mean, it is kind of hard to think if it was a big mistake or if it wasn't, but... Let's be real, he probably really has messed up. Too big? Oh, How big is this teddy bear? <laughs> oh god, it must be giant. Is it like literally, I don't know. What's a good comparison? My wardrobe size or something ridiculous? <laughs> I guess he didn't think about it and went to the toy store on his bicycle. Now he's got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> he can either do the extremely painful task of getting the teddy bear and in one hand and then getting the bike in the other hand, that is, if that's possible. Or he could just maybe get Idia's help. I really do hope that Idia can actually do it though, but he's at work now, so he's probably going to have to wait for quite a long time. That's so typical of him. <laughs> I can't help but smile warmly. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And you do find it really interesting, even though he's killed someone, it's like nothing's changed, but that's kind of understandable because of how much Sato she hated. This horrible, horrible woman. In other words, he can't carry both the bicycle and the teddy bear, so he wants me to come pick him up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I thought it might be right over and headed to the toy store in Okinawa. When I got there, I found that the teddy bear... <laughs> he bought is a lot bigger than I imagined. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> oh my! Oh, this is huge! Damn, I wonder how... Huge it is. I've never heard of this car in traffic. All oh, right. Of course, I've heard of this BGM before. Well, sound effect. But still, there's no way you can put this on your bicycle, huh? <laughs> that teddy bear is so big that Sato Schoonhart can hardly wrap his arms around it. Jesus Christ! Wow. My God, that must have cost a lot. Sato's gonna love that. My God. If you put someone on his lap in the passenger seat, you won't be able to see anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. We loaded the bicycle in the back seat and stuffed the teddy bear in the trunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Shikashi. 
I think what he's done is just, just sort of coming back to him. His face is turning pale. Oh no, I can tell he has a high fever. Oh god. was pushing himself to buy this teddy bear. Yeah. Teddy bear this size can't be that cheap. Yeah. For him to win uh, and enough money in such a short period of time, he must have worked. Hard and long hours, that's fair enough. The thing is, if he murdered his aunt as well, then yeah, that let's just say that must have really got the adrenaline up. I mean, it's no wonder that he's feeling like this. Maybe he felt relieved now that he got the teddy bear he wanted to buy. Yeah, maybe, but the only thing is, it doesn't really sound that happy, but maybe he's feeling, maybe he's feeling really sick, and then it's going to sort of come together, and he's going to be really happy about it. Oh my god, I, I really do wonder if we're going to get the moment where he actually gives it to Satoko, her reaction, oh, that's going to be so sad, that we actually get it though. It's not unusual for a person to collapse after reaching his big girl. Interesting. I've never really thought that. I mean, to be fair, when you reach your big goal, I suppose about with a lot of goals in the last day, the last sort of day is the most time consuming, them, and the one that's sort of the last one, the big sort of the final straw, really. Like, for example, I don't know, like, I'm thinking my video projects or an exam. That's a really good one. Like, you get the exam, and then your big goal's done, I suppose. Like, I suppose, like, for example, my GCSEs next year, like, I'm going to be doing, like, the entirety of year 11, I'm going to be revising for them, and then, yeah, it's going to be the big thing when the exam actually happens, and then, yeah, then I'm going to be very relieved. Whenever I do a really big goal, though, especially if it's something I'm really stressed for, I feel happy that I've done it, and then that happiness, it sort of goes into, I don't know, it's not really, no, that happiness, it always turns into sadness. 
but that's because I get really, really stressed after I've sort of finished something that really stresses me out. It's just so weird. But, yeah. And then, obviously, I take a little bit of time to recover, but then, yeah. Then I finally experience, like, you know, the life where I don't have to worry about that thing. Oh. しかし、よく頑張りましたね。こんなにも大きなぬいぐるみを佐藤子ちゃん。きっと喜ぶと思いますよ。彼のフェアにもなってもらえたし、such I like these so much. I, I, I really hope so too. Yeah. Aunt is gone. Aunt, our uncle isn't coming back. There's nobody who can hurt her in any way anymore. Right? Yeah, I suppose so. There really isn't. But the only thing is if the uncle does actually come back, I suppose that could be could be possible, but the only thing is that's not going to happen for another year, I suppose. She's got a year of peace, really. It's a shame that she doesn't have, like, eternity of peace until she sort of leaves and has that to do with whatever she wants to do in the future. But, yeah. So, that's right. right. Idiot just like casually justifying a murderer right in front of him. Yeah. I mean to be fair though, he he really it is fair enough that you do that. But it's just so tricky things like these. Aunt is gone, right? She died, right? It's interesting that she, she, and um, that he isn't actually a hundred, he doesn't really sound a hundred percent sure. Yes, she is dead. I performed the prophecy. Oh, I made no mistake. She would never abuse Satoko-chan again. Yeah. It is just so horrible with problems like these, like the only way they can. The, way, the only way he thought he could actually solve this was with this. Like, because the problem is so bad, you solve it with an even worse means. Uh, with even worse mean, but... Mean means, I don't know. But at least I suppose after that, there's no more problem. But the only thing is, new problems would have arise from the way you solve the problem. <laughs> so it's a real problem. Are you sure? Did you really confirm that she's dead? How would she not be dead? Like, seriously? Yes, I sure did. So, even if I see somebody who looks just like her, it's not her, right? That's weird. It's not like she was actually alive and recovered. That is really odd. No, that's not possible. Oh my god, idiot, actually say something. No, it's not possible. She's never come back to us. She's never come back to us. Then, then, look, that lady, she looks like her, but that's not my aunt, right? Right? What? This is weird. Which lady? Oh, Sato's goon pointed at the young coming calm in fear. Oh no, don't tell me this is just somebody that... He's mistaken for her. Of 
course, the car passed by so quickly that I couldn't see her face. Oh, well, that's the worst, yeah. But no matter how much she looks like her, it's impossible for her to be alive. But yeah, definitely, but this is Higurashi. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe there's just that one possibility that it could potentially be weird. Not of this. Not of our. Not something we can really understand. <laughs> Who knows? Look. Look at her. She looks exactly like her. Oh, God. Oh, that's just gonna make it even more scary. So no, so no matter how much she looks at, like her, it's not your aunt. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. But she looks like her. Look. No, it must be her. That's my aunt. She's... This is so weird. I bashed her head in repeatedly. Shit. God, he is. He must be terrified right now. I mean, he's so terrified that he's, he's literally not even thinking anything of saying that to EDA. But, like, damn, that's actually a confirmation of that, I suppose. Like. Said she was killed on the drug addict was definitely a cover up, but still, fuck it out. I can only try to stay calm and drive. Yeah, that must be a really scary situation. Oh god, especially if Satoshi is completely losing it. Shit. Satoshi Kun is losing his cool. Yeah, he definitely is, yeah. He's delusional. He's seeing his aunt coming back from the dead. Yeah, that's really scary because you know what happens when you know there's a syndrome that happens. And do you remember with do you remember what the hallucination with Sion um actually caused Neon to actually uh, the other way around? Right? The hallucination with um the hallucination Sion actually saw of Neon. You remember what the Neon that she had killed as well, coincidentally? You remember what that caused? That caused her to literally sort of I don't know, she was, she was trying to escape from her, and as a result, she, I think it was, she accidentally, I don't know, I think, I think she put her foot the wrong way, and then, boom, she just fell, and then she died. It's just such an ordinary death for such a really unusual character, and mental character as well, Jesus Christ. Finally realise. Oh shit! Satoshi is displaying symptoms of the terminal stage. Fuck! I need to examine him once I get to the clinic. You are not dissecting him. If Idia dissects him or Takano wants to dissect him, I am actually going to lose all my hope in this game. Oh my god! Yeah, it's different from Satoko Chan's case. Yeah, because Satoko. Satoko didn't actually see parents come back. Oh shit, that does that sort of pose the question of does Satoko actually does Satoshi actually have it worse than Satoko? Hmm. <laughs> we already have the cure. We can reset the skin. Yeah, that's actually fair enough. But the only thing is, I just don't get why he disappears. If I talk to the mountain dogs, they will take care of the murder with his aunt. Yeah. I just really wonder how he disappears. So I can both save him from getting going terminal and give him back his peaceful days with Satoko Chan. Definitely. Definitely. But it just doesn't happen, which is so odd. Hmm. 
He was, he was deranged until just a minute ago, but now he's gone quiet. Oh no, has he passed out? He didn't fall asleep. I must get to the clinic whilst Otosuku remains in this calm state. Yeah, fair enough, but the only thing is that's kind of scary. He would not be in that much of a calm state if he had clawed his throat out. No way. But I don't know, do they react when they actually are so sort of... I don't know, some sort of changed by the disease that they don't even really show any sort of signs of pain anymore. Who knows? They just don't, they're just not themselves. They really aren't. There's no guarantee that he won't attack me while I'm driving. That's fair. And the only thing is he's giving him medication. That's the even scarier thing. Like, how many species of suspicious, how many suspicious thoughts is Satoshi you gonna have because of that? As if he knows what is going through my mind, Satoshi spoke to me quietly. Coach, is He needs to be really, really careful with his words. どうか。プリーズ、トライトサイファイ。いや、いや。無理に喋らなくていいですよ。まぶたを閉じて、ください。すぐに診療所に着きますからね。そうしたら、あの、ギブイズメディシン、ね。ファイナルスムよくなる薬をあげますからね。おお、ガードシフィルソーバーフォー
I don't even need to run tests. He's at level 5. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I do find that really odd. If you are at level 5, do you actually hallucinate that there are maggots in your blood? Is that why? Because I always thought it was just chemicals. I mean, there can't be any maggots. I just... It really is weird. No, he said he feels like it. He doesn't actually know. But I suppose when you actually see the maggots pouring out, that's the hallucination. And what you think is the maggots is just those chemicals that are sort of being released to make it feel really itchy. So itchy that, you know. You itch it away. He's reached the terminal state and his thoughts must be filled with delusions. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Maybe he thinks that the staff members want to kill him. But to be fair, creepy nurses. Yeah. Not really. Nurses that could potentially look creepy, and especially the eyes of, you know, just somebody that would, um... Somebody that would be sort of suspecting of everyone. And really irrationally, too. Staff members pinned. Oh right, right. The staff members pinned his arms and legs down and gave him a shock to put him to sleep. Shit, dude. I just really hope that this is actually gonna work. The only thing is, I mean, it does sound like something that will work. But coach, 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 please. Help me. Oh god. Down. I suppose he's falling asleep now. So I suppose Coach is like the only one person he trusts, even when he has a syndrome. I mean, that just really says something there. Don't worry. I'll make it better. So please relax. Yeah, yeah. Coach. Please take care of Satoko. <gasps> Oh god, so hang on a second. Oh no, he actually thinks this um, sleeping thing is going to actually kill him. Please take care of Satoko. After saying those words, he fell unconscious. God. I mean, the only thing is it was a sleeping pill at least, but the only thing is, he thinks he's going to die, so at least it's just so... To think that you would, your last words would just be like that, like, that just really shows he would never be a failure of a big brother. That just shows how much of a person he is. Oh god, my mind. What's going on? Satoshi-kun has suddenly displayed symptoms. Yeah, not suddenly, man. It was just a matter of time. Yeah, it's sad that, but yeah, it's just so horrible that like these people not only have the most horrible situations going on around them, but they also can't have them because they can, because of the disease. You know, it's actually deadly to be stressed. As, I mean, it is without a disease, but it's even more so now. Because, I mean, at least before, you could just feel sick. It wouldn't actually kill you. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe he was holding it back until he brought the, brought the teddy bear. Hmm. I wonder how that would be explained. It's somehow we always find our specimens around It's actually kind of funny that, yeah. But the only thing is, I suppose, that's the time when people are thinking they're going to potentially get killed. That is, coincidentally, the time where suspicion is at its highest. Do you think it's the Kazaboy Yashiro somewhere? <laughs> and also, um, with the whole uh, Watanagasu-related thing, um, 
I also find it interesting that um, with murder as well, I mean, this is the first year somebody actually killed someone for the Curse of Fury Asset or someone that wasn't, like, you know. And no, uh, it's the second year as well. And the first year, you idiot. <laughs> the only thing was the third year where Double Cure did it. But, yeah. I don't have time to listen to her nonsense. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, my god, man. I can't believe. I mean, I get that she is like, she really doesn't care about any sort of human emotion at all. She doesn't care about. She has zero compassion. But the only thing is, it's just insane that like, she would joke around at a time of this sort of peril. I don't have time to listen to her nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> well. That was really, really interesting. So now are we are we going to get anything on like how Satoshi actually disappeared, I wonder? Because, I mean, we've got everything about like Satoshi and like why he was actually taken to the clinic. But the only thing is we do not know how he was disappeared, how he had disappeared. It's so odd. It really is. God, all I can say. The draft and emergency are interesting. Oh, the only thing I can say about this is just poor man, the Satoshi. Like, oh my god, it's just, oh, it's just so sad. And what I do find especially sad is like the one time he has the syndrome, and especially you know when like he is actually buying and he's finished the goal. He's doing, um, he's using, he's trying to make his sister sort of. He's doing for his sister basically. The second that finishes, this happens. I think that's just the saddest. And, oh god, the Casablanca has been the summer. What, what? It's assumed to have been it. Oh god, what actually happened, it really is painful to think, but... Yeah. It happened, I suppose. There's no denying it. Right, um, yeah, we're gonna be preview of lots for sale next. When you say preview of lots for sale, do you mean like there's a lot for sale? Ha ha ha, I'm so funny, aren't I? Right, it's gonna be interesting. So, preview of lots for sale. This is a little bit contradictory, this atmosphere. <laughs> right, okay then. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh! Oh, my name is Maibara Ichiro, and I'm hopelessly lost. This is actually interesting. So this is going to be the story of um, where Keiji's dad. I think he actually moves to Hinamazawa. This is this is where he first discovers like Hinamazawa's beauty. Really, God. Oh, but the only thing is, oh, I just find it so sad with Satoshi. I really hope we learn more because we have we have got some Tokyo related stuff. Um, I'm gonna probably read that tomorrow. We have got some stuff related to it, so I hope that then we're going to actually learn about stuff. But yeah, anyway, my name is Maya Barayichiro, and I'm hopelessly lost. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I came to Hinamazawa to find, on a tour, to find a lot for a vacation home. When the realtor finished explaining some details, he told us to take a walk until the departure time. Oh, yeah, was the bus person late? <laughs> Such beautiful scenery and fresh air. Oh shit! Hello, my sister's guys, me, and here I am. Where am I? <laughs> oh no. The countryside makes you lose control. <laughs> that is not very reassuring. I still have a little time before the departure, but I'm completely lost. This is basically the middle of nowhere. People do actually live here. Yeah, you will in a few years. Or maybe a year or something like that. In a bit of time. walking I should run into somebody then I can ask for directions yeah brilliant don't worry 
The only thing I need to keep in mind is the departure time for the bullet train. The bullet train. Oh, shit. So, it would not be very good if he missed his train. <laughs> but the more time passes, I, the more... <laughs> the more I started thinking I was being too optimistic about running into somebody. <laughs> Because I can't find anybody at all. Oh, right. Maybe I'm walking farther and farther away from where people are. In which case, I'm in serious trouble. I really do wonder where he is. Does he see, like, any houses? So upon hearing somebody's voice, I felt... Immensely relieved. Oh my. Brilliant. I wonder whose voice it's going to be. Oh, right. Yeah, this is the scene with Dika on Sotoko, isn't it? Sounds like um, little girls are playing nearby. If it's a place where little kids can play, it must be a safe village. That's actually fair enough, yeah. I follow those voices. Yeah, and. Yeah, I really do wonder. I really wonder who's actually going to be there, because in the thumbnail I saw Dika and Hanyu, didn't I? I can't remember though. Oh wow. Damn, this is really cool. Upon rounding the wild pampas grass, I can see a beautiful field. God, I've actually never seen this background before. It looks really, really cool though, the sort of white plants. I don't know what these are, but... Yeah, they do look really cool. They just look like something you'd always see in a natural sort of place, really. Especially because of like the sort of structures of these flowers, like the leaves and stuff like that. Two girls are playing there. They're dancing in the field. Filled with blooming wildflowers. What I'm seeing is more beautiful than all of the grain works of art I've ever seen put together. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but this looks holier than any religious painting. I can't tell if this is weird or if this is just like really sweet. <laughs> wow. God, that must be amazing to actually like, you know, just be able to do that. I mean, to be fair, I could do that, but I've never really sort of tried it. <laughs> the only thing is, I mean, this is definitely sort of a sweet interpretation for the only thing is in the real world you would get done for trespassing by doing stuff like this well the only thing is you can't she could probably go anywhere because like of her family status or at least that's what i think at least who knows or maybe at least if she was caught trespassing like the the punishments would be less severe damn any religious painting why is um why is it that seeing missing girls dance around like this makes people feel this way? It's probably because we're Oh my god, it's probably because we're sinners. You can't live with pleasure and glory alone. We sin even as we live. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, this guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. That's why we feel all by the sight of innocence. Yeah, it's actually really interesting, that. So, yeah, and I mean, especially, it must be really interesting, like, if you've really sort of done bad things and you've regretted it and then just seeing people that have never really done bad things. I mean, this is a very positive way of thinking about it, but the only thing is, what about jealousy as well? Because a lot of people would have felt jealous of people like these, you know? <laughs> That's why we feel all by the sight of innocence. It runs us of the time when we were pure weird we grow up naturally and we lose innocence as we do and we well, that's interesting and we admire and adore the children who symbolize that which we first but what if these kids have unintentionally but what if these kids have done worse things than we've ever done 
Like, I mean, Dika, especially, like, she's literally lived a hundred years. And there was this one, there was one world where she literally lost it and she killed everybody. And you're still saying that she's innocent? I mean, to be fair, you can't know that. This is just appearance, but still. <laughs> Meep, there's a suspicious person who's mumbling some weird stuff over there. <laughs> oh boy, he's gonna be a. He's, let's just say he's gonna be put off guard at the moment. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Hang on a second. Did I just. Is it two? Hang on a second. He said two girls playing. Yeah, little girl. More than one. So he can actually see Hanyu. That is weird. How is she visible? Like, uh, genuinely, how? How, how, how? He got not a suspicious person. <laughs> well, it kind of, uh, I don't know, it kind of like appears for it to be. <laughs> Eh? Ah. Ah, so sorry. <laughs> I'm not suspicious. <laughs> oh my god, I must be. So he was actually sort of thinking what he was, he was thinking out loud, but just mumbling. That must have been, that must have been so embarrassing. <laughs> But you've been so what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a father. <laughs> and yet he does this. Bruh. But you've been staring. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> whenever you're whenever you're really embarrassed, that's what you do. Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it kind of doesn't surprise me that this guy is like, you know, a little bit, let's just say, weird. When you see, like, he, I mean, this guy literally took his son to Angel Mott. Who could be less weird? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. Don't. <laughs> Don't tell me in, I really wasn't staring. I was using this mirror to fix my hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want. Could you imagine if it, if his hair is just really scrappy and it really doesn't show that he's actually been doing anything apart from you know being a fucking weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> that is the first time I've heard Hanya laugh. I swear. I don't know what you're talking about. But it sure sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Katie did stuff like that. But yeah, my father likes son. The girls teased me for a while, and when they got tired of doing that, they went back to dancing around. Oh, I'm just so surprised that you can actually see Hun here. Hun you? I wonder what's actually going on there. It's just so odd. Like, how? Genuinely, how can she be seen? Realising that whatever I said would backfire, I decided to leave them alone and sat down to watch them play. Damn. But the only thing is, firstly, what about your bus tour? Secondly, what if somebody sees you? That's just going to be really weird. <laughs> and thirdly, like, what about your bullet train? <laughs> I mean, I get the like, I get that the countryside it is definitely beautiful and it is, I suppose it is nice to sort of see who's there and see them really enjoying it, I suppose, I don't know. I suppose just feeling happy that other people were enjoying things, but feeling happy at other people's happiness, really. But like, yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of things he should be thinking about other than this. 
I wonder how old they are. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I think rather young, but maybe they could be close to Casey's age. Yeah. Katie might meet them at school. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you won't meet her on you, but yeah, definitely will meet Deep Carl. If you would see them at school, then there were girls that lived here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If all the children in here now are like them, then even if live then even if living a rural life may have some challenges, there's a good reason for us to move in. Yeah, that, that's so nice. That's fair enough. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, the thing is about a lot of the Namazawa children, they are, they're really, really nice. But the only thing is if they, you know, if they have this thing called a, you know, persecution complex, then, oh boy, not really the best. <laughs> and if they get really stressed and suspicious, then that's when you worry. It's just like the, the nicest village with the sort of worst, I don't know, like, potential things that can happen. <laughs> We're not very good parents. We didn't understand what Katie was going through. Oh god, yeah, yeah, fair enough. And left them alone until the very end. Yeah, we do find that. I do find that really sad. It must be really difficult to actually cope with this, but I suppose at least the best thing he, he probably has done the best thing he can do by moving to a completely different place. And for Katie as well. According to the parenting book I bought, the first few problems are calls for help. It doesn't matter what the action itself is, but the fact that those actions are occurring is a primitive appeal from the child seeking communication. Kids can speak and that's one of the reasons why they don't notice such signs. We can only hear words to our ears and we can't see the sense of science coming from our son's heart. Katie probably thinks it's all his fault. Yeah, interesting. Of course, he's not absent of blame. Yeah, yeah. Humans aren't dogs or cats. We should know what's right and wrong. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it's our fault too as his parents. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't really know, but the only thing is I suppose they couldn't have known, but I don't know. It's just, I don't really think that's a good enough sort of justification. They could have really done better, but could they have? That's another question. To let him think that he had to go through. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that I can agree more, yeah. And I'm happy that he's realising this as well. To let him think that he had to go that far for us. And to be able to understand him is really pathetic and disappointing of us. Yeah. Yeah, and it really does sort of it really does surprise you that like they never really thought about what may be happening. If we had understood and hadn't cornered him, Gazy wouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And God, he's just, I find it interesting that he's so sort of, he's probably so affected by the incident, he doesn't even want to say, like, what it is. But, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't have, anyway. It's 
So the incident's quite only Gage's fault. Everyone in the mine of family was to blame. Yeah. No, I suppose so, because the only thing is... The thing about Gacy is he never really sort of communicated his feelings, like he said. He just did it through these sort of really awful actions. But the only thing is, he never really communicated his feelings, so the parents weren't really able to know what he was actually feeling anyway. But I suppose... I suppose it is kind of bad in terms of their parenting because they should have been able to notice things like this, especially in his, in the changes of mood. I mean, I think especially if you're doing things like these, then you would, there is no way that your mood wouldn't change when, for example, around them. I want to explain that to him, but he's still too young and hot-headed to be able to understand. Yeah, interesting. Right now, the guilt he's feeling is basically... Oh, oh god, that's horrible. He doesn't even have the will to live. Oh. Yeah, that's fair enough. Right now, the guilt he's feeling is basically crushing him. He doesn't even have the will to live. My wife. Oh god, my wife is the same as- she's blaming herself for forcing him to study for better grades. Oh god, yeah, and I mean, to be fair it is actually kind of why, but yeah. She's blaming herself for forcing him to study for better grades. She thinks that's why the incident took place. I'm no different. I'm blaming myself for, for not being involved in my son's education. I think that's why the incidents took place. Interesting, so we actually wasn't involved in it. I mean, I suppose when it's involved, uh, I'm assuming just like, Gacy never really thought that, he thought these were the people he had to impress, not the people that, um, not the people that he could actually talk to things about really and just sort things out. Cross will be forever on our shoulders, even after the injured child accepts our apologies. Oh, so, oh god. Oh, that's even worse, and not only do they have this guilt, but he probably isn't at the moment probably accepting what they're actually saying. It really does surprise you. I think this with Lenar as well, definitely. It really does su just surprise, it really does surprise you because of how bad these incidents that are happening at the moment are. It just makes it, it really shows how much he numbers are sort of just living here and sort of help them. They've gone from miserable people that were going, that were going to potentially end their life because of their guilt really, let's be real now, that's basically the same. But he has made them, made them be able to live like they should have, if they, I don't know, hadn't have done what they had done. I don't even know if Nenar remembers what she did. Yet our whole society would tell us to die under the weight of that cross. Interesting. Yeah. Even so, we have to live. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We have to accept us and carry our banners on our shoulders. Yeah. And I mean, Hinamazawa is such a good place that... Yeah, exactly. Maybe we can start a new life here in this village. And even though he's saying so much about like not being a good parent, this is genuinely, I think, he couldn't have picked a better place for them to live, genuinely. Oh, 
I thought about all that as I watched the girls dance. Yeah. Katie needs friends like them. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Friends like those girls will love her so much more than the friends who only talked about cram schools and exam results. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, because he, he never really saw, he never really thought of his friends as friends. He just sort of thought of people as competition and people that you should be. But now it's way less than that. <laughs> the girls are playing near a sign that doesn't fit into this, into this open field. It's a sign about lots for sale. Oh, oh right. It's a sign about lots for sale and the name of the realtor who brought me here for the tour is written on it. Oh right. Does that mean we can live even in this beautiful area if we want to? Yes. Ow. Oh, hang on a second. So this is probably, I think this is maybe the field right near the, so uh, I'd assume that if you, if you turn the camera, I don't really know how to explain this. If you, I don't know. So you're staring this way. Let's say you were staring this way. I'd assume um, at your, Right, you'd actually, at your sort of blimmin. I think in northeast you'd probably be able to see Gacy's house. One of the girls spoke as if reading my mind. <laughs> this is a wonderful village. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You'll find lots of things you don't have in a big city. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, that's right. I think so too. But I think there's some things from the city to this village that we don't have. I wonder what Casey actually brings from the city. I suppose maybe just him. He's a city kid. That's something that this village doesn't have. <laughs> do we have anything? Yeah, what do they have actually? Sure you do. Oh wow. <laughs> We've lived in this village for hundreds of years just like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, she's probably talking about like her, Gaiji's father thinks like she's talking about ancestors, you know, just everybody. Yeah, but who knows, could potentially be talking about Dika and Anya themselves. We've lived in this village for hundreds of years just like this. Nobody comes to visit and nothing happens. Yeah, and so nothing ever changes. Yeah. Isn't that what's good about this place? Didn't you because you wanted to change something? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, she definitely is. We want new people to come here too. Yeah. It's like breaking the dam. <laughs> it's like breaking the dam that keeps the swamp water from flowing out. What it was purified by moving, it stays Just the swamp. Hmm. I 
That's actually really interesting. I never really realised that. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you do really find it interesting, like especially um, Ichi Dot, like actually being able to sort of hear just a kid sort of speak in this manner, like a kid of Rika's age, like that really just that really must show like how I don't know, just intelligent the people here are, and how nice they are as well, like how respectful. Because these people they are very, very nice. So, he'll definitely want to move to that. Like, the more they speak, the more he will feel motivated, I'm sure. In fact, this village used to be named after the swamp until the Meiji era. Yep. <laughs> Is she actually going to say what it's called? But the name was changed to Hinamazawa. Yep. Of course she doesn't actually, of course she doesn't actually, you know, use the name. <laughs> but what's when the swamp stagnates because it doesn't flow? Yeah. Yeah, just don't tell him the name of the swamp whenever you do. <laughs> but the water of the stream stays fresh. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she going into a creepy look? Besides, you are the ones who will teach us that. This is like the worst thing to do. <laughs> With that voice, he is going to be fucking creeped out. Like, he knows nothing about Dika. I mean, even the people that do know things about Dika are creeped out by, like, you know, this sort of look. I'm actually curious. What does she look like in her other art styles? Oh, she looks nothing different. So this is the only one where her sort of expression changes. That's interesting. Hey, besides, you all are... You all are the ones who will teach us that. That dams can be broken. Should be broken. Hmm. Yeah, especially for Hinamazawa. Are they playing riddles with me? <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what they're trying to say. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> but there's one thing I know. The villagers are waiting for new people to come here. And they want to build a future with those newcomers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I looked at the sign behind the girls one more time. So that I remember this place. Oh, that's really nice, yeah. I've already decided. We're waiting for you to move it. <laughs> you should not do that. <laughs> I mean, she obviously, of course she knows, like, of course she knows what Katie's father looks like. But the only thing is, like, that will creep him out so much. There you are. Oh, so we actually found him. Nice. So, how did you get this far out? <laughs> Let's just say, being lost and captured by countryside. <laughs> a raspy voice from the distance just ended this innocent moment. <laughs> it's the realtor. I guess he's been looking for me because I didn't return. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Sorry about that. I got lost. <laughs> I apologise while scratching my head. I turned around to look for the girls, but they weren't there anymore. This is so creepy. You've got to be kidding me, Axe. I hate it when you accidentally press control. Because I accidentally did that just now and I... Uh... Ended it. Oh, that's annoying. Right, this is going to be interesting, like, for my other family move. Oh, this is... Oh, my God, this is going to be when Gagey... That's going to be really interesting, like, seeing 
his reaction to everything. Right, um... Hang on a second, what about what we just read? Oh god. I think I'm just gonna, let's just... No, I don't want to because I'll get spoilers. Uh... Oh, what can we do? Oh, I've... Is there any way to, like, exit this fragment? Well, I can, I can save and load and then... I'll tell you what, I'll make another save here. And then I'll, um... I'll just load this one and then skip to the end of it so we can sort of see what I accidentally skip. That is just the worst timing, though. Right, uh, what's this? Sotoshi's arm. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I can't read this here, can I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, I suppose we're going to find that out later. Uh, yeah, right. That's fine. This is the school? Yeesh, this... <laughs> this really is the sticks. <laughs> Geiji, don't say stuff like that. The people in this area love coming here. They actually do, to be fair, but still. This must be really weird to see for a city kid, my god. This is my first impression of the Hinamazawa branch school. No matter how much I look at it, it doesn't look like a school at all. <laughs> yeah, even I was assigned that says Hinamazawa Forestry Service. <laughs> wow, wow, you're right. We're borrowing the building from the Forestry Service. Oh, right. So we actually asked about it. <laughs> God, it's just so nice to see, like, the change really. Said the man that, said the man they called the principal as he laughed heartedly. Oh, yeah. Although it doesn't look like it, it is in fact a school. The rules may be a little bit different from the one you went to previously, though. Yes. I heard all the grades are put into the same classroom at, the, at this school. I didn't believe it, but I think it really is true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're all younger than I am, so I guess it would be like kindergarten. Oh, so they are actually all younger than him, so he is actually the oldest one. I thought Mion was... No, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I should actually learn this, like, the sort of friend groups and how the ages of the people in the friend group and how they compare. Because I always thought Mion was a... No, Mion is a year younger than Geichi. And so is Udena because they're the same age. And then I don't know how much, in terms of years, like, Lika and Sotoko are compared to Geichi. I just remember, like, four or five or something like that. They're all younger than I am, so I guess it would be like kindergarten. So it would be interesting compared to my previous school where everyone looked the same age. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> if you transfer here, you'll be the oldest boy in the class. Yeah, definitely, so you'll have to be a good role model for the younger students. Yep. The younger students have the tendency to copy bad habits from the older ones. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'll be getting my eyes on you too. So you make sure you're aware of that, okay? <laughs> yep. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't really. There is no way Katie would. There is no way Katie would be a bad kid after what he's done. I mean, he just feels. I kind of get the feeling that he's feeling so guilty about what he's done that he would never do anything close to it. And we can really see this. He isn't a bad kid. No way. I understand. I do my best. Yeah, good. Katie, what he means is the textbooks aren't the only thing you learn. What the fuck? Hello, moth. 
Casey, what do you mean is that textbooks aren't the only thing you learn from? As a member of the class and also as an older student, you have to be as a good example. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Textbooks aren't the only thing you learn from. <laughs> That already. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hang on a second. I thought I thought he was just gonna be like, you know, when um whenever the transfer scenes happen and like the whole class is in there. I thought this was actually gonna be the case, but no. Since we're all still growing, I'm sure our sizes are very different. Yeah, that's actually fair enough, I never really thought about that, but my god, could you imagine like tiny kids that were trying to study at a desk made for like, I don't know, just teenagers? <laughs> That'd be a nightmare, because they do have to do that. Or maybe the desks are really small here. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. They look small. There are some desks that are way too small for me, even if to even put my legs under. Oh, right. And there are some that are just perfect for me. Wow. There was there were approximately 30 desks in here, but since all the different grades are in the same room, I'm sure it's very lively. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it is. So, there's also a wall full of calligraphy and art from different grades. Also, hang on a second, that wall um, there, do you see it? Is that the calligraphy wall? Because that's really fucking cool if that is. Wow. Is that Mwari Wahirima? I don't know what that means. It's probably more that we're missing. Wadi Hima? Like you can figure that out, or is it like is it left to right or is it or is it top to bottom? Hima means free in Japanese, I don't know what Wadi means, but yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You must have so much more soul, just even by seeing something like this. It's all pretty exciting, nothing like my previous school. It reminds me of the days when I truly enjoyed my school life. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that, like, he had those days, but it's good that he did, yeah. I like it here. Yep, that is very good. <laughs> I like this school better than the other one in the town. Yeah, that's really good. He, he really must appreciate it. I mean, I suppose he hasn't really had a day in it. Maybe he could have a day that he completely hates and then realise he completely hates it, but somehow I don't think that's going to be the case, you know? <laughs> I think my son likes it here. I want him to go to this school too. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, so there's an Okonomi after school as well. Yeah, that's actually really interesting, because you would have thought with Gaethje sort, especially because of them being really sort of into the education aspect, it could have been very likely for him to have gone to the Okonomi one. But no, he didn't. But I suppose this one just has so much more soul. So, yeah, good. Good for them. Could you imagine if he didn't like this one other than the Okonomi one, though? Oh boy. Things would have been different, let's just say that. 
そうですか。お気の宮の学校の方が設備も充実していますし、立派な先生方もたくさんおられますのに。She really wouldn't be a good businesswoman. <laughs> you're meant to sell your product. You're not meant to, like, put them off it. <laughs> nah, but that is fair enough, though. Even while saying that, TSSN looked happy to hear that a new student will be transferring into her class. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Teachers went back to the teacher's office to get the transfer process going. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. In the meantime, I decided to stay in the classroom and look around. I didn't care about the move. I'd lost. Yeah, I'd lost the will to live because of what I did. I didn't have any willpower and I couldn't even get out of bed. God. So when my parents told me about the move, I thought that wouldn't change anything. Yeah, he definitely didn't. And I remember in the Onigakushi thing, you remember when he's sort of, he's on the train journey. And it's actually really interesting when you read Onigakushi. Again, I only read like the beginning a little bit when I was sort of editing something. But um, yeah, you sort of see, you see her mother like crying and repeatedly apologizing and him not really understanding. He was just in a nap while it was happening. Yeah, and you really do find it interesting when you realise what the case, what the context was. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just, yeah, because he was he was just sort of he was asleep on the train. I remember he probably didn't care at all. But God, that really, that really just sounds hopeless. It's so good that he likes Inamazawa. the move something did change yeah yeah brilliant i want to restart my life oh brilliant good for you good good for you holy fuck i want to restart my life and become someone i've always wanted to be i won't say that's like not relatable but uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Hearing your mama's over and at the school, I can do that. I couldn't agree more. I mean, look at Katie and Minagoroshi. I think that's the word that definitely shows him at his best, you know. Otomi Horoboshi. Omeakashi. Just basically one of the words. Or Watanagashi, I suppose. Or maybe he must have We don't actually know what happens in the French point of view in that world. But basically, any other words where he doesn't become a murderer, <laughs> he's just really bloody cool. And he really, you really can see that he's done it. I'm not going back to who I was. Brilliant. I'll never again think that good grades are the most important thing in the world. Good for you. I have a feeling that I can learn the thing, the things that are really important in life here at this school. Oh, I love that. That just makes me so happy to see. I never had the chance to learn them before now. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing to put into words. But they're extremely valuable things, and if you don't learn them, you won't become a decent adult. And it's actually very true. Maybe you will become a decent adult, but it will be so much harder to. And life will just be so much more difficult because you haven't had those basic skills.
students in this school will learn them a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But the only thing is they're going to be taught. Casey's definitely going to be taught them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to spend time learning about them even at this age. Well, less time than me. I said nothing. How to make friends, how to play with friends. To play. Things you can only learn from play. Yeah, things like socialising with others. ETC, ETC. Seems so easy, but it will take me a while to learn them. Yeah, fair enough. I can really... <laughs> I kind of wish I was in with Casey situation sometimes. Definitely things I could... I would love to sort of have the opportunity for, really. I mean, we do kind of do them, but it's not really as much. I suppose I'm saying that because I haven't been in school for, like, six weeks. Oh my fucking god, school's in five days. Do keep in mind the last- So, it's the 1st of September and the last time I was at school was the 19th of July. Because, like, summer break. No, it's the, it was the 21st of July. I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but, like, yeah. You can just tell I haven't been there for a long time. those things aside and devoted myself to studying. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not trying to say studying isn't important, but you shouldn't become blinded by it. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. And that's saying something by me, by the way. I won't go into it much, but yeah. Let's just say it's very relatable what he's saying. If somebody says studying and good grades are the most important things in life, he's talking bullshit. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> you can't have it without the other part of life. You can have good grades, but if you have no life, or no life skills, or no socialization skills, then yeah, it's going to be a very hard to get a future, let's just say that. And it's very hard, to, it's going to be very hard to meet people, it's going to be very hard to be happy. Like, you need those things, man. If anything, like, I don't know, things like those are better grades than good grades. Sometimes. The best grades. The grades in life. I hate that analogy so much, by the way. So I can restart my life here at this school. Finally, I can become someone who I've always wanted to be. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Huh? I know there's two girls looking at him. A me through the window. I bet you that's Dikan, aren't you? The schoolyard must also be a playground for those children because there's a lot of them playing here, aren't you? Oh, wow. those two noticed me walking around the classroom and became curious. Yeah, yeah, I wonder I wonder who they actually are gonna be. Right, Rudena, Mion, Rudena and Mion, or Satoko and Lika. No, not Satoko. No, 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 no. Maybe actually. No, it could be likely that Satoko and Lika. Or maybe it could potentially be Lika and Hanya. Who knows? I think it's most likely to be the Mion and Rudena one. No, actually I think Lika and Hanya. That's my guess. That's gonna be my guess. In before it's just, I don't know, Takano and uh, I'm thinking of like a really, really obscure girl, U Udina. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I guess that's natural. I'm a stranger to them. Yeah, definitely. Should I say hello and let them know I'm starting school next Monday? Yes, you should, yeah. Yo, yo. 
I kind of guessed it correctly, but I said it was most likely to be... No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This will change things. Because Casey is the six on the list. <laughs> Casey could be. But the only thing is, firstly, how the fuck can Katie Stee hum you? And secondly, uh, are they saying this as an introduction to him? Yes, he is, but his die was one far too often. Yeah, yeah. It is scary to think that that is true. That's not Casey's fault, Yeah. It's all your fault, Hanyu. It's because of you. Apologize to Casey. Oh, boy. <laughs> that feeling when they're bullying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can see why Nika finds it funny to like tease Hanya. She gets she gets so sad every I mean nobody's sad but like she she gets so embarrassed every time. <laughs> eh? Do you know my name? Yeah, actually it must be kinda of scary. <laughs> hey, do you know my name? She said my name, didn't she? Did I hear her wrong? I've never met her before. Yeah, she's met your father. I have met your father. <laughs> it just sounds like some sort of really threatening thing that somebody would say. Nipa! Nipa! Are you a new student? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely don't know him. Definitely. Nipa, are you a new student? Yeah. Ah, ah. Nice to meet you. I'm Maebara Keiichi. I'm starting next Monday. Take care of me, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good introduction. Things are going well, I suppose. Ah. Star. Damn, you really know things are going serious when there's a star. <laughs> Sure thing. Here's a message from you, Katie. From the shrine made of, of the hooded shrine. On your first day, be careful when you come. <laughs> On your first day, be careful when you come through the door of the classroom. Oh, I wonder what that could possibly be. <laughs> In for Nika. She's trying to change fate. What the fuck? She kind of is, though. <laughs> <laughs> also, that was your thumbtack on the back of your chair. What is a thumbtack? It just looks like some sort of sticker. That'd be a toy frog on your desk too. Damn. <laughs> this is a threat. But even with this one, you fall for it again and again. <laughs> again and again. Your Monday is going to be disastrous for Katie. <laughs> well, it's definitely going to be a one remembering, my god. And if anything, if it's going to be disastrous, then yeah. <laughs> Great things will happen because you'll make friends very, very quickly. Even though you'll be very embarrassed in the process. That's why it's fun. Why do you try overcoming that day sometime? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're the one to teach yourself. You're one of the many worlds, right? 
<laughs> it's just such a creepy thing. I can't believe that she goes in this sort of, I don't know, like version of herself with Casey. Like that must be creeping him out so much. And especially because like she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. Is she weird <laughs> or something like that? I don't know. next Monday because of the actions of a snaggle tooth girl <laughs> snaggle tooth oh my god what a word <laughs> I realize it's too late though <laughs> but I like it here my name is Mayabara Keichi this is my new beginning and this time I'm gonna enjoy it to the fullest yeah good for you Missing out on so much, but I'm gonna learn all of those things here. Oh, he's gonna learn it. All right, my god, I'm gonna absorb all of it. And I'll become somebody I've always wanted to become. Good for him. It may take a very long time, but I'll definitely do it. It will not take a long time. No way. I bet you, I bet you he's already gonna be fully changed on the Monday. All right, that's the end of it, but like. I bet you, after that Monday, that's that's going to be enough. That's all he needs. Bet you anything. Right, so, um, now that we've read that, uh, before we actually, like, I don't know, and because I don't really want to read anymore today, God, I got that fully completed. But, um, yeah, before we actually, uh, God, so we only have four shards left. Jesus, we do. That's insane. Uh, I wanted to read, I think it was, it was the Maya Bana one, yeah, here. Right, this is gonna be interesting. How the hell can KTC hunt you? Seriously. Right, uh, let's just get to the end of it. Right, this isn't the end. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh, I hate it when this happens. You sort of try to get to the end, you see what the last lines that you accidentally skip were, and then, like, yeah. This is close to the end. This is close to the end. Wait, hang on a second. I'm being really thick. Should I. Right, this is near the end. Right, let's see. We can live even in this beautiful area if we want to. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. We're so nearly to the part we haven't read. Here we are. Oh wait, hang on a second. So we never actually... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I am so sorry, guys. I thought we missed something, but we hadn't. So the line about like the girls bit sort of being disappeared, if you like. They've gone out of this side. That was the last line. I am such an idiot. But anyway, that was actually really, really interesting. So... I'm gonna be honest with the whole Satoshi related thing. It was very interesting to see like more of his story, especially what happened after um, the teddy bear was actually bought for Satoko. I really do wonder what's gonna happen with that teddy bear. No, Satoko does actually receive the teddy bear, but I wonder how she's gonna receive it, who she's gonna receive it from, and what the fuck is gonna happen to Satoshi? How is he gonna be seen as disappeared? I'm really interested in that tomorrow. It was really interesting what we learned today though, and Oishi's taken it as well, that was cool. I really loved learning about the Maya Bada related stuff as well. It was interesting, like, seeing the effects of the, you know, like, the whole, um, 
you know, the incident that Katie was involved in. Was involved in. Committed. That's a better word. And yeah, just real new beginning. Oh, that, I, that's just really so positive to see. Like, I love this sort of formation of formation. Basically, just the two best things that happened to the village friend group, just one by one there. <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow we're gonna really sort of see a lot of interesting things. We're gonna see a lot of uh, what's it called? Popular related things. What are we actually going to read first? Though? That is actually a fair question. So we can't read. We may be able to read this actually. Oh wait, we can't connect it yet. Right, I'm just going to save it because I'm I'm genuinely interested. Might as well have a little bit of fun before we end. Uh, there's not ready. Anyone saying we can't? You know, just fucking around. Uh, right. This maybe. Right, so we can read that, but the only thing is I didn't I didn't realise that Tomitake actually had a slight fever. Interesting. Right, dude. I'm gonna end it today. That was really, really fun. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. And yeah, hope you have a good one. I definitely will myself. I hope. Lamau. See you guys.